Where did that go? I don't know. I wasn't watching. I'm looking through the lens. All right, let's go again. Uh, what are you aiming at? What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Gunmeister. Hey, today we're going to be checking out a sick rifle. This is the Savage A17 semi-automatic 17 HMR. Now this rifle has some pretty cool stuff in it. It's got some tech in there that I like. And the reason I say that is a lot of companies tried to make the 17 HMR in semi-automatic and failed miserably. Some of them got them into prototype. Some of them actually got them out. But the ones that got out eventually seemed to be mostly recalled because it was unsafe. The reason for that is that the 17 HMR is a really high pressure round. And what was happening, a lot of the companies were making the bolt carrier really light to cycle it, and it would start to extract the cartridge before the charge was completely out of it, and you were having explosions with the cartridge and catastrophic failures with the guns. So Salvage came along to fix that. Basically what they did is they found a way to slow that bolt down so that just a split second happens, that cartridge fully discharges, and then it cycles. So I want to tell you about that before we start. I really like this gun. It's super, super fun. So let me go ahead and show you some of the ins and outs of the guns, talk about it a little bit, let you know what you can expect when you buy it. And then uh, when we're done with that, we're going to go have a lot of fun with this thing. So come on in here a little bit closer. Let me show you around the gun. So I want to go ahead and start off by telling you what you get when you buy this gun. Um, I've actually put the bipod on this thing, uh, the scope I put on this, and the little cheek rest on it. Also the uh, sling. So basically when you get the gun, it's, it's essentially just the rifle. Uh, it comes with a 10 round rotary mag. And this is actually a really nice mag. Um, I like the rotary mags because they seem to be a little more reliable with the smaller calibers like 22 and such. This mag is, it's really similar to the mag you're gonna get with like the Ruger 1022. Uh, same kind of idea. Literally just pops right in the bottom right here. And of course, like I said, this is a semi-automatic. You know, so you pop it in, chamber it back, you're good to go. You know, one thing I really like about this gun is you pick up other small caliber rifles like a 22, 22 uh, Magnum, stuff like that, 17 inch mark. They feel kind of cheap. You know, they're um, light, kind of tinsy feeling. This one does not. Um, it feels like a full size rifle, meaning like if you picked up a 30 out six or a, a 223 or something like that, this has that same kind of weight, same kind of feel. Uh, so when you're shooting it, um, it's, it's super comfortable. You've got a nice rubber butt stock right here. The barrel on this dude is fully floated. And for those of you that don't know what that means, the barrel itself does not rest on the stock. And that's gonna increase your accuracy on the gun, which is a nice feature to have. Uh, as far as the scope we put on here, I went ahead and put a four by 16 on here. And the reason I did that guys is this gun, and we'll show you here in a second, is very, very accurate. And you can really reach out and touch something with this. And I mean, you can almost do just like pinpoint precision with this. So if you're back at 100 or what have you, you can go ahead and throw that on that 16 and get a real good look at what you're trying to shoot. The other thing I was going to tell you about, guys, the trigger on this gun is fully adjustable. I want to say it's adjustable between like five and like two pounds or something like that. But you can really dial this trigger in to fit your wants and needs. And I'll tell you what, it's, it's a really, really nice trigger. The other thing I was going to tell you is on this gun, takedown is pretty easy to do. There's a little uh, button back here. Basically, you push it in, this pops off, and everything kind of comes out the back. You clean it, put it back, and all is well. So with all that being said, let's go have some fun with this guy and see what it can do. Come on. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and take our first shots with this. And uh, we're not too far away from the targets. I'd say maybe 25, 30 yards. And I'm just going to go ahead and take some shots, see if we can hit kind of center, see how it feels. Man, I gotta tell you, this thing just feels awesome to shoot. The trigger's fantastic. I mean, point of aim is, is balls on this thing. Super, super fun gun to shoot, zero recoil. Let's go ahead and put our last four shots right on that center mass, and we'll see how close we can get to our original shot just doing off-shoulder shooting. Let's try it. Click. That's awesome. Listen, when you go to the range and you get a gun like this and you're shooting and it's just that much fun to shoot, it makes me wish I'd have bought a truckload of this ammo because I could spend the next couple of years out here just planking around. But 
that would be a really long video. I don't think you'd want to sit through. So here's what I want to do, because we know this thing's accurate. Let's go ahead and do, uh, let's do an accuracy test to start so we can see what we're actually dealing with. So we know through the rest of the video how freaking accurate this bad boy is. Come on. All right, guys, so we're back here at 50 yards, and we're going to do an accuracy test on this gun. I have no doubt that this gun is going to reign supreme on accuracy. I mean, this thing is just amazing. But what we're going to do is we're going to take 10 shots at this target down here. So I've got this loaded up with 10 of the CCI VMAX 17 grain polymer tip bullets. And uh, let's go ahead and set 10 down range and see what she does. Clear. Guys, check this out. This is awesome. This shot right here, that's a flyer. I was actually trying to circumcise a gnat, so that's on me. But the nine other shots made one hole at 50 yards. That's amazing, guys. So look, if you have that gun, you have it set up in your environment hunting, and you miss, it's probably on you. Because I can tell you this much, that gun will do its job. In fact, I'm so excited about that. Let's go back to 100 and try something special. Come on. All right, guys, we're back at our 100 yards. I'm very confident with this gun, meaning that I feel like it'll hit its target if you do your job right, like I said before. So we've got four Tic Tacs set up down range at 100 yards. I'm gonna load this bad boy up right now. See if we can hit him. Let's see what we can do. All right, we'll start off with the one on the far left. Let's see if we can make it happen. All right, so we got the first one. Let's go ahead and get the one just to the right of that one. All right, so we hit the second Tic Tac, but it looks like it shot it in half. We'll check that out after we're done shooting this, but let's go ahead and hit the third one. That would be the third one from the left or the next one to the right. Either way you wanna look at it, it's all good. Let's see what we can do. All right, here we go. Third one from the left. Ah, victory. We got one left. Far right, here we go. And that's it. All right, that was awesome. So on that last one, uh, I took a shot right, and I just think I just grazed the wood right to the right of it. And I kind of feel like it was the wind because with these 17 HMRs, they're really light, so it doesn't take much wind to move them. So we got right back on target, and we took it out. I'd like to go down there and see what we did. Come on. Guys, that was awesome. Check this out. Okay, so this is the first Tic Tac. Got it clean. Not even there. Okay. This is the second one I was telling you about where we hit the Tic Tac, and it literally split the Tic Tac in half. You can see right here at half the Tic Tac is still in there. That's awesome. This one was just a clean hit. The downward angle popped it right there, dug in a little bit. This is the one I was telling you about where it kind of skimmed it, and then the next one took it out. So that's awesome. So you know the other cool thing with the 17 HMR is that bullet is fast. It's like 25, 2600 feet per second. Let's go do a velocity test on the thing, see what it does. Come on. All right, guys, this gun is a lot of fun. So what, let's go ahead and check the uh, velocity coming out of here. We're using a CCI VMAX, and they're rated at uh, 2,550 feet out of the muzzle. So let's go ahead and see what they're coming out of this gun at. Let's do a five-shot group and see what we see. 2589. That's, that's pretty good, man. That's, that's higher than what it's uh, advertising. Let's see the next one. 2557, that's pretty much right on. Twenty-five. What is that? 20, 2570. 2587. And 2542. Alright guys, so we're averaging 2569, which is uh, 
19 more than uh, what's advertised, which is really cool. It seems like every test that we put this gun through, it's just excelling and doing awesome. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with this guy. And uh, to be honest with you, if I was gonna go out uh, plinking or rabbit hunting or something like that, this would probably be the go-to for that. Just because it's so fun to shoot, its accuracy is up there, way up there. And uh, no recoil, and uh, it's just a lot of fun to shoot. There's one other thing that's really cool about the 17 HMR I wanna show you. Come on, check this out. All right guys, the other cool thing with the 17 HMR is again, it's a 17 grain bullet. But here's the thing with it. It's moving incredibly fast. Because it's so light, it doesn't have that mass or that inertia when it hits something. And the cool thing with it is once it hits something, it hits and it just dumps all of its energy immediately. We've got these water jugs set up down here. We've got three, and I'm back probably 15 yards, and I'm gonna shoot it. I'm gonna show you what it does. Check this out. Pretty sure we got a hit. This is the water jug it hit. This is the first one. And if you look at this thing, it's completely just opened up because what happened is that little bullet gets in here, and all of its energy just goes wow and opens this thing right up. This is the second one right here and the third one. All right guys, so now that we've got that out of the way, let's go try a couple more things, come on. All right guys, do a little FSU. Got this loaded back up with the CCI. Let's have a little fun. It's not too bad. Whew. Tell you what, you get that gunmeister smell. Nothing like it. Let's see if we can put that flare out. Got it. Nice. Awesome gun. All right, guys, let's go ahead and give this gun its ratings. As far as the build quality goes, awesome. I mean, it, it feels good. It feels like a rifle should. It has good weight. <laughs> um, I don't feel like anything was skimped on here. Everything is nice and tight the finish is great good gun build quality excellent i'm going to give it four stars on that as far as the ergonomics go again this is a 17 hmr but it feels like a full-size hunting rifle like it should uh, all the controls are exactly where they need to be easy to get to it's easy to work um, i don't feel like ergonomically you really could do much more to this um, I, I feel like it's fantastic so on that i'm giving it four stars Reliability, guys. Um, this gun is super reliable. Uh, I did have a couple of little hangups with that Federal bulk ammunition, but again, I'm not necessarily saying that this gun is unreliable. But what I would say is, if you're going to carry this and use it, you know, to hunt with and stuff like that, test it with some different rounds. I had a lot of good luck with the uh, CCI VMAX, 100% reliability there, not a problem whatsoever. Uh, so I'm going to give it four stars on its uh, reliability. Again, test it with some rounds. Uh, the CCI seems to work really well. Accuracy, guys, this gun is accurate as the day is long. Um, no, I, I can't say enough about that. I mean, if you put this on its target and everything's on the money, you do your job, it'll do its job. I'm literally gonna say that accuracy on this guy is outstanding. I'm gonna go ahead and give it five stars. I mean, when you could take out Tic Tacs at 100 yards, you really can't get more accurate than that, in my opinion. As far as the FSU, it did really good. Um, it was a little bit tough up tight because of the scope again not a problem with the gun But with the scope it's set up for that longer range when you're in tight doing the FSU It's a little bit hard. It did a good job though. I can't complain, you know I'm gonna go ahead and give it four stars on that guy. All right guys So overall, I'm gonna give this gun four stars. It is an excellent gun. It shoots good. It feels good It did every single thing I asked it to and I had no problems whatsoever. So overall four stars great gun in my opinion all right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of the Gunmeister. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, happy shooting. We'll see you guys next time on the Gunmeister.
probably going to need to pick up the fire extinguisher sure too. You're not doing that around me again. Holy shit. Well, next time something's flying at you, you got to get out of the way. <laughs>